Is it a giant water tower? No. Is it a grain silo? No. It's a starship, a vessel destined for outer space, and its ambitions are only eclipsed by its amazing and immense size. Gazing at the 30-story spacecraft, one can't help but wonder why it needs to be so large. Yet the limits of Starship don't end there. SpaceX and Elon Musk envision an even bigger and more advanced spacecraft. We can't even imagine how magnificent this will be. So let's find out more on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Up to now, we are no longer strangers to the incredible feat SpaceX has accomplished. From successfully launching and landing reusable rockets to sending astronauts to the International Space Station with their spacecraft, SpaceX has continuously broken barriers in the space industry. But these aren't the final victories. The SpaceX aims to make it to Mars and maybe even establish a settlement there. This is why the daily development and innovation of their rocket program are essential for the company. Prominent among them is making the world's largest spaceship, Starship, even bigger and more powerful. In fact, Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX, once revealed in a company presentation about two upgraded versions of Starship known as Starship V2 and Starship V3. If components of Starship V2, such as the nose cone or payload section, have appeared at Starbase, which we analyzed in a previous episode, then Starship V3 has not yet been produced. Elon and SpaceX plan to complete the production of Starship by the end of this year and aim to launch it early next year. This leads us to speculate Starship V3 might be made in early 2025 and ready to launch in 2026. According to Elon, Starship V3 will have upgrades compared to its predecessor. We got a version 3 ship design that will stretch and even be taller, probably end up being, I don't know, 140 meters before it's all said and done, maybe 150 meters at the end in length, so be even taller than it is currently. With 150 meters in height, the V3 will be up to 25% taller than V1. Based on previous announcements, V2 will get extended by 10% to hit 124 meters in fully stacked form, meaning that V3 is going to be about 26 meters taller than V2. Besides the upgrades, could also increase Starship's payload lift capacity from roughly 100 metric tons to more than 200 metric tons of flight. Well... This can make Starship become an unparalleled cargo behemoth in space, revolutionizing space travel with its impressive payload capabilities. To comprehend the scale of this accomplishment, one can envision that the cargo capacity of the Starship is equivalent to that of three 118 tons of Saturn V into orbit and about 12 shuttle payloads. Remember, it took almost 60 space shuttle launches to bring up the pieces of the 420-ton ISS. In this case, two single-use SpaceX Super Heavy Starships could be left in space and bring more mass for a larger 500-ton space station. It would be the best to use at least three SpaceX Super Heavy Starships to orbit. This would enable a central docking component and then two rotating Starship modules. The SpaceX Starships could be just left in orbit but attached with walkways to form an almost 1,230-ton space station. Each of the Starships would have about 160 tons of dry mass and a 300-ton payload. In addition to its impressive size and payload capabilities, the larger Starship version will also minimize costs. Musk claimed that the future Starship 3 would cost less to launch than SpaceX's original rocket, the Falcon 1 small launch vehicle, which had a price of about $10 million because of full reusability. He estimates that the Starship cost per launch could fall as low as 2 to $3 million. And that is beyond our imagination. For instance, if a future Starship costs $2 million to build and $2 million for fuel and operations, then even in expended mode, this payload cost would be $15 a kilogram. Now, considering a $3 million Starship capable of flying thousands of miles, the costs would primarily revolve around fuel expenses for the flight with minimal overhead. By implementing systems for synthesizing liquid oxygen on site, fuel costs could be substantially reduced. For example, with an estimated $500,000 per orbital flight for fuel and 250 tons of reusable payload, the cost would range from 2 to $4 a kilogram. Similarly, for transcontinental flights, with fuel costs estimated $125,000 a flight, with the same payload capacity, the cost would be around $0.50 cents to a dollar per kilogram. And that's the difference between if you've got a fully reusable rocket, rocket with low-cost propellant and autogenous pressurization costs actually costs less, Elon said. But before achieving those benefits, SpaceX will have to solve many problems. The first being the design. It'll need to have many changes, like redesigning the interior for passengers, 
expanding the cargo compartment, or expanding the fuel tanks. This is difficult because changes are not only increasing in size, but also ensuring balance between parts. Next are the engine changes. A larger vehicle with more payload will make it even heavier. That means the engines need to be larger and more powerful to lift the vehicle. It can be said that engine research and development is the most difficult task in the aerospace field. Engineers need to ensure the engines are not only powerful, but also stable. The problem of engine stability was evident during the first orbital test flight. On top of that, related facilities also need to be changed and upgraded, like the Mechazilla launch tower system. It's going to need to be taller. The Mechazilla arms, or QD arms, are also going to need modifications to be able to lift and catch a bigger starship. That's going to be a challenge for SpaceX's engineers. So many challenges, but what makes Elon so confident? He certainly has any reasons for thinking so. First, the thrust issue, we've all witnessed the power of the Raptor engine. It's no surprise it's considered to be one of the biggest engines. The deep hole under the OLM after the April 20 launch revealed its power. But it could be even more power if the next version of the Raptor engine, Raptor 3, is released. In May, this version got tested, and its result after the test surprised many of us. With thrust increased to 2.69 mn, it will make Starship 18% more powerful than the current version. Moreover, production of the Raptor engine has been extremely fast. Factories can produce one engine a day like the current Raptor 2 version. The biggest problem is increasing stability, and SpaceX has talented engineers who can solve those challenges. The capabilities of SpaceX's engineers have been proven throughout the company's development process. They have helped the Falcon 9 become the most stable and reliable orbital launch vehicle. They've also helped SpaceX become the first company that owns the most satellites in orbit. For the Starship project, after the first orbital test flight, their capabilities were shown more clearly. In just a few months, the changes and upgrades in Starship and related infrastructure were almost complete, ready for the second orbital test flight. At other companies, they can take up to a year or more. For those who think Elon's recent statement is crazy, I want to tell you it's not the craziest. Ideas appear in Elon's mind at any time, anywhere. Elon created many crazier ideas with Starship, of which the most prominent being Starship 2.0. Back in 2019, he tweeted that the Starship's diameter could be increased, reaching 18 meters, surpassing the diameter of the Soviet N-1 rocket. If increased, Starship 2.0 will have a height of nearly 240 meters. That's double the version they're currently producing. According to estimates in Starship version 2.0, the surface area, propellant tank volume, thrust requirements, and mass will increase eight times. The total weight will be up to 40,000 tons. SpaceX will need at least 100 Raptor engines to help lift this monster. It will be interesting if this version appears in reality. Then it's going to be nearly three quarters the height of the Eiffel Tower, and the current Starship version will be just like a tiny guy standing next to a giant. That sounds unrealistic, but dreams have no limits, especially for ambitious folks like Elon Musk. Throughout aerospace history, vehicles have gradually gotten bigger and more powerful. So how can we know what their limits are? We can laugh at Elon's crazy thoughts, but we got to admit that he's helping Starship get bigger, stronger, and better. And thanks to that, the road to Musk's biggest dream, Mars colonization, is also getting closer. But before we think about those scenarios, there's more work for Elon and his team to do. That is to work well in the upcoming Starship's fifth orbital test flight mission. The world is extremely excited after Starship completed upgrades and passed recent tests. The time we wait for SpaceX is still much shorter than other companies. More than ever, give your thoughts and prayers to Elon, SpaceX, and Starship. And soon, Mayor Elon's city on Mars will be opening its doors to welcome you. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.